All right, we have Omar Kasuba joining us all the way from Germany. Good to have you with us once again. Yes, good morning. Great to be on your show this morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Omar. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, um, we saw the German Bundesliga games uh, restart. That was day one of the resumption after the whole shutdown. Um, yeah. Most of the football fans from this side of the world, we felt like the games we saw were quite boring. We had to ease ourselves into the games. And it felt like the players as well, they didn't give up to 100%, especially the game, the game between Dortmund and Schalke 04. How would you review the games for the weekend? Um, I think that um, it's a normal thing. Um, I, will, I will not play football for over 66 days. Mm. Um, returning will be a bit um, weird. And of course, especially with the coronavirus pandemic still around, mm. um, the players, some against their wish, um, of course, they have to play, they have to do their job. You can't sit at home and earn money yeah. um, for no work. So um, it, would, it would take a bit of time for them to really get back to normal because um, even playing football right now, it still feel, feels weird because Germany is the only top flight league in the world that is back. So it, it will take a bit of time for everyone to really get back to the groove and to get used to seeing football without fans because this will be uh, will happen for at least till maybe the end of the season. So maybe before we see fans watching football inside the stadium again will be next 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 season and that will be around August or September because the Champions League will be played in August, which means that other leagues leagues will resume again in September, not August, as they usually do before the coronavirus broke out. So it will take some time for us to get back to, you know, regular, normal football again. Mm. Now, for last weekend, we saw interesting games, like I said earlier. And uh, um, we also heard, because football, as we know, in as much as it's talk about social distancing and players being careful, I know the players can get carried away. And most of the players have been warned not to forget about social distancing and doing the necessary things right there on the football pitch. Now, we also hear that Dynamo Dresden, uh, some of their players have returned about two tests positive from Corona. Do you think this will eventually affect the Bundesliga, probably to go back to a shutdown? Well, um, the good thing is that has happened in the uh, Bundesliga too. Mm. Um, of course, I mean, they, they've said it before now that if any player tests positive, only those players who test positive will not be allowed to play. So it looks like uh, they have uh, resolved to end the league uh, no matter what happens. Mm. And um, they are making plans, they're making sure that uh, they contain the virus, you know, uh, while the games are on. And I think that it's, it's, it's a very commendable move because life generally is beginning to slowly, you know, return even with the virus still around because in the end, we cannot basically just shut down the world because there's a virus out there. The precaution that was taken earlier was fantastic to, to initiate a lockdown so that people could understand or those in authority could understand the virus and its character, try to contain it, try to understand how to deal with it, and then slowly ease up, which is what has been done. And it looks like as time goes on slowly, everything will completely return to normal and we'll all live with the virus. We heard from the World Health Organization that this virus is here to stay perhaps another five years. Are you expecting that the world will be shut down for five years? The no. answer will be no. So it's, it's, they will have to manage it and then, you know, get going, in, in my opinion. Mm. All right. Now, we're looking forward to interesting games this weekend. We will say last week was more like a, a, a rehearsal. Are we expecting to see yeah, more fireworks this weekend? Yes, of course, and um, fans in the Bundesliga, at least, will be spoiled for choice as there are three local derbies this weekend. The first one comes up tomorrow in Berlin, Hertha Berlin against Union Berlin. Oh. Uh, the first one ended in favor of the smaller version of the Berliners, oh. that is Union Berlin. The first derby in 35 years was played uh, earlier this season, and of course, Hertha Berlin didn't win. But of course, for Bruno Labadia, they've started their season well, beating um, TSG off and I'm away from home uh, by three goals to nothing. Good start for Hertha Berlin. 
um, talking about the resumption of football. Now they face Union Berlin a local, in a local derby, which will not look like a local derby because, of course, of the absence of the fans. Yeah. That is the key element. Those are the guys who make, you know, who make the game of football beautiful, mm -hmm. and they make the derbies look actually like derbies. The last derby between Schalke 04 and Dortmund didn't look like a derby. It looked like a training involving two local derbies. <laughs> but of true. course, we know why all of this are happening. Of course, another local derby will be Fortino Dusseldorf uh, playing against uh, Cologne. Uh, Cologne and Dusseldorf are uh, states, uh, regions that are very close to each other, 39 kilometers uh, between each other. So that mm. makes you understand why it is also a local derby. The other one, the third one will be Borussia Mönchengladbach mm. facing Bayer Leverkusen. Leverkusen. So uh, both teams are aiming to reach Champions League sports uh, that will be a very feisty one. And of course, uh, we expect to see perhaps Borussia Dortmund continue on that uh, fantastic winning streak that they've started as they go to Wolfsburg. And Wolfsburg is a city close to me. My brother lives in Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg is also a city close to my heart. Uh, that's the first city I landed or visited when I came to Germany. I landed in Hanover because Hanover is the nearest airport to Wolfsburg, okay. which is a very small town, no airport, no, tra no, no trains walking in Wolfsburg. Wow. Wolfsburg actually has a train station that takes you out and into the city. Mm. But within the city, there are no trains because it's a small town created by Volkswagen. And of course, made you know, big, made popular by the Volkswagen uh, car manufacturer. And of course, 90% of people living there work for Volkswagen. So weekend of, of exciting football, Bayern Munich, we hope to continue as well from where this uh, left off uh, last weekend mm. um, as, they, as they visit, I think, Frankfurt, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, Frankfurt. It'll be, it be an, an interesting um, um, fixture this weekend. Mm. Mm. All right, um, as we go, the match protocols, uh, um, has it changed? Or is, are we still going to maintain the same level of discipline from uh, when, it's, when it kicked off on, on Friday last week? Of course, that has been the promise. Um, league matches we played, of course, with stringent rules. Players we arrive uh, different at different times to avoid unnecessary contact. Uh, players will roll through the tunnel. Uh, teams will roll through the tunnel separately. Normally, you have two teams side by side, and of course, pre-match uh, pre photographs, handshakes, all no longer allowed. Players on the bench will have to wear their mask. Players scoring goals have to celebrate in a social distancing manner. Mm -hmm. We saw Ellen Allen do that perfectly well. But of course, some other players forgot that they have to celebrate goals, keeping two meter distance. But of course, I think that they will get used to it as time goes on. Mm -hmm. Even though it is laughable, but hey, those are the rules. You have to follow them. <laughs>